The void portal within Ulnar has been sealed, but a greater threat looms. Amon is transforming our people into a host form. While we were focused upon Ulnar, he has unleashed the full might of the Golden Armada using our own weaponry to eradicate life from planets across the Caprulu sector. Our current forces are not powerful enough to engage the Great Fleet, but Amon's other servants run rampant across the sector. Then we should strike immediately, eliminate his outlying forces. The ancient purifiers were designed for war. If we reactivate them, we can build our armies and destroy Amon's Zergreeds in one fell swoop. Assuming they do not turn on us first, the Purifiers possess no loyalty, no honor. You waste time bickering. The Taldarim's death fleets are your threat. I alone can challenge Malash for the right to rule and bend his army to my will. Do not forget Mobius Corps. They are rumored to operate from a hidden base, where they forge a hybrid army to serve, even now. This is true, but we cannot engage them without knowing where they are. Vorazun, send your most elite Dark Templar to scour the sector. For now, Karax, your focus must remain with the Keystone. The survival of our people depends on our actions in the days to come. It falls to the Firstborn to stop the coming Oblivion. No salvation within Ulnar. And yet, we indeed found hope. Now, we must eliminate Amon's armies. Siding with Alarak is indeed a risk. Tassadar, old friend, what would you do? Zeratul, would you have me take such a chance? The answer matters little. If this alliance can weaken Amon's armies, then it is a chance that must be taken. It is an armada. Behold the Death Fleet under Amon's command, poised on laying waste to all life in the sector. Then we had best act swiftly. Rakshir, usurpation by ritual combat cannot be rushed. Its rights demand careful preparations if they are to be accepted. We are in orbit above a hostile world with an imposing fleet, and you speak of preparation? I intend to depose Malash, the ruler of an entire people, and bring them under my thrall. You will aid me, and in return, I will remove the Taldarim from this conflict. That was our bargain. To do this, the ritual must be carried out as tradition demands. This bargain grows less appealing by the moment. I wish to know more about this Rakshir, your ritual combat. To understand Rakshir, you must first understand the sacred chain of ascension that ultimately links to Amon. Each of us is shackled to his will, and to the will of he who is in the link above. And yet, there is a way to ascend. By blade and blood, any Taldarim can usurp the position of the one above his station. It is through this ritual that Amon's ascendants are assured to be the most capable to carry out his will. Then Malash is the most powerful of your people? He is considered so, but he has yet to face me. What possible source of void energy is emanating from Slain? Hybrid? I shudder to think what lurks below. I've been analyzing the Taldarim's war machines. Their technology is cloned from Kalai designs. Aside from the construction materials, 
There is little deviation. How is this feat possible? There have always been legends of vessels that set out into the cosmos and never returned. Of attack forces gone missing. I have heard these stories. Whispers of angry spirits of our past that strike when you are most vulnerable. Imagine if all this time we have been fighting an unknown war against the Taldarim. It would explain a great deal. How sad. They are thieves, never knowing the joys of their own invention. How despicable. Uh. There are things I understand about the Taldarim. Their zeal, their desire to appease their god. What I cannot understand is why Amon would cast aside his loyal allies so easily. Why he would betray their sacred trust and treat them as fodder. I have felt his grand ambitions, Artanis. The dark truth is, Amon wishes no allies aside from his hybrid. He believes he's ending a cycle of violence, but he only brings about an eternity of abomination. In order to invoke the challenge of Rakshir, preparations must be completed, as the decrees of old describe. Ready your warriors. Malash will surely attempt to interfere. These are Malash's guardians. I need you to eliminate them before I proceed. If it must be done... Wait, what is that strange fog? Tarazine. It flows in cycles from the chasms of slain, bringing us closer to the void. Amon's forces will be able to manifest until the flow subsides. They do not possess their full power here. Yet they will strike at your base ruthlessly. I thought you promised an assured victory, Alarak. You enjoy a challenge, do you not? Very well. My forces will pursue the Guardians while it is clear. When the Terrazine flows, we must endure the onslaught. Terrazin will rise shortly, my warriors. Be vigilant. Your command. Void rays can now be warped in at our Stargate. They are ideal for intercepting foes in the battle ahead. Well done, Faye Smith. We will make good use of them. Your command, Miss This world in the void is lifting. Amon's forces will arrive soon. It shall be done. Enemy. 
power. Kill them slowly and painfully. My people will fight with honor, even when we are fighting for you. But first, we must establish our defenses. Annihilation and sin. ships in this region. They are carrying shipments of Solarite. I don't think Alarak would mind if we liberated them. This shall not be our end, but a new beginning. This vessel 
phase crystals charged. Excellent. Only one remains. And a cool hurrah. Systems at full. is under attack. ships are heading towards our nexus hierarch bring them down Thank <laughs> you. 
have not enough minerals. Think of what they were planning to do with it. You have not enough minerals. I walk the shadowed path. Prismatic core online. so thrilling. Why not join us? Well, I must save my strength to face Malash, of course. You have not enough minerals. Oh, from the Do you sense it, Tarazim? A shame you'll have no time to enjoy it with Amon's forces coming after you. Core online. You have not enough. 
minerals. The fog is fading. What better time is there to slay my enemies? Ships have set a course for our Nexus. Prismatic core online. enemy. lies. in combat at daybreak. You shall have your challenge. I am going to make this clear. The Templar are not a weapon you can wield as you wish. We are not here to slay your enemies under false pretenses. Deceive me again, and this alliance of ours comes to an end. Slaying Malash's guardians fulfilled more than one purpose. Once the High Lord lies dead at my feet, none will challenge my rule. After 
after all these years, my victory is nearly at hand. I feel his concern on Tannis. He knows that I'm coming for him. Malash? No. Amon. Through the breath of creation, I peer beyond the veil. Oh yes, I feel his rage washing over me. He knows I no longer fear him. He knows that the Talgarine have no color for him to control. I will turn the Chosen against him. Do not assume you are already victorious, Alarak. Do not let the Terrazine cloud your judgment. You have a battle to win first. The battle is already won. In my mind's eye, I have delivered the killing blow in a thousand ways. From my experience, overconfidence is your opponent's greatest ally. Do not let yours aid Malash. Spoken as one who welcomes defeat. There are new personnel awaiting your review in the War Council, Hyrule. Malash has proven himself to be a dangerous leader. Indeed. That's why my victory shall be the sweetest of ecstasy. Has he defeated many in this rite? Countless. He ascended the chain with brutal wrath, plowing through all who opposed him. It's as if he were blessed by the Dark God. They called him the Blade of Amon. And still he was challenged? It is our way. He defeated each with lingering cruelty. Malash revels in bringing his challengers to the edge of death and tormenting them for a time after. That does not comfort me, Alarak. Comfort is a myth. Given to younglings until they are ready for the trials and pain that is true existence. Believe me, it is time to make preparations. Kerax, the Keystone, it's reacting. To avoid energies upon the planet's surface, most likely. I've seen this before on Ulnar. This Terrazine must be directly linked to the Void. The Tal'Darim call it the Breath of Creation. They believe imbibing it allows them to speak directly to Amon. A far-fetched claim, yet I cannot deny its plausibility. The substance's properties appear to be foreign to our universe. Perhaps this is why it is so holy to them. They seek out planets rich in Terrazine, and turn them into temples to their god. Our coming here may be a blessing to us. If the Keystone reacts to Terrazine like it does with Void Energy, I may be able to use it to stress the artifact, determine its limits. Perhaps fate has not abandoned us completely. We must have faith. I prefer results, Hierarch. Amon is powerful in measures that eclipse even the Queen of Blades. There is no room for uncertainty. Hierarch, my scouts are tracking the movements of the Golden Armada. This chain of ascension is a despicable practice. It is how the Kalai once thought of the Nerezim's Shadow Walk. There is no comparison. Our society was not founded upon... Them. Their culture is one unyielding hierarchy. Servant to master. A constant reinforcement of their bondage to Amon. But they have been lied to, Matriarch. And how could this change if it is all they have ever known? Our people once only knew hatred of one another. Suspicion. Yes. We viewed your practices as barbaric, and you viewed ours as cruel. It is the same with the Tal'Darim. With the destruction of Amon and the revelation of his betrayal, I expect their entire society to seek out who they truly are and what they wish to be. The assault ships are now ready for your inspection. New Tal'Darim robotics have been constructed based on Alarak's specifications. Let us hope his instructions were thorough. Paradakural. Hey. 
Destruction is at hand. Destruction is at hand. Paradacura. No, oh, it is you.